Hi friends, <clears throat> now we are going to talk about one very important stuff that can help you save a lot of clicks and save a lot of time. In, so this is related with vendor payment query. So everyone knows we check FPL 1N. Okay. So there I go to FPL 1N and so there is a requirement where suppose here I'll execute and mm, this is my layout I have and I'll execute. And here, if you notice, I have this net due date. So suppose I have a requirement where I want to see only those net due dates that are that are in this current year. So every time I have to go here and find it out, it would have been wonderful if we have it in the selection suite. So how can you bring the net due date in the selection suite? This is the magic I'll do. Okay, so for that you have to go to SU3 transaction. We'll use parameter ID, okay? So here you go to parameters, okay? And here we will just populate this value, okay? And here we will just say X, okay? And I'll save it. So uh, I'll save it now, okay? Once I save this, now we are going to run it, okay? So if you remember, so if I go back now, So if you remember before, the net due date was not here. Now you can see it's here. So <clears throat> if I want to see anything, suppose, which is in this current year, okay? So I'll just put it something like this and I'll put populate this. <clears throat> so I don't have to go back and find things. It will pick up from here. So you don't have to go down. So here you can find the net due date coming right away. Let me see whether in FBL5 and if it shows the same. If, you, if I go to FBL5 and if you notice in FBL5 and also the net due date is showing up before it will not show up. But with this parameter ID, you can have the net due date come in the selection screen. So if something is uh, due within a certain span of time, then only you will show the report and you can have this very useful. So let's see in FPL 3N also whether the net due date can show up here. So the net FPL 3N doesn't matter, but FPL 5N, FPL 1N, it's a wonderful thing that you can do, that you can put the net due date in the selections. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and I hope you are enjoying all these tips and tricks that can help your SAP journey uh, smoothly and help uh, give you back some time and create less confusion in SAP. Thanks and have a great day.